Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 232. Autonomic Drugs. Describe what's happening here in the noradrenergic picture. In the noradrenergic picture, you first see tyrosine being taken up. Tyrosine is a precursor for all catecholamines. Once tyrosine is inside the presynaptic neuron, it's converted into dopa and then dopamine. Once the catecholamines have been created, they get packed into vesicles, and when there is an influx of calcium, the catecholamines will release into the synaptic cleft. What drug prevents the conversion of tyrosine into dopa? The drug that prevents the conversion of tyrosine into dopa is metyrosine. What drug inhibits the packaging of the catecholamines? The drugs that inhibit the packaging of catecholamines is reserpine. What drugs inhibit the release of catecholamines into the synaptic cleft? The drugs that inhibit the release of catecholamines into the synaptic cleft includes guanethidine and bretillium. What stimulates the release of catecholamines into the synaptic cleft? Amphetamines stimulate the release of catecholamines into the synaptic cleft. What drugs inhibit the reuptake of catecholamines into the presynaptic neuron? The drugs that inhibit the reuptake of catecholamines into the presynaptic neurons are cocaine, TCAs, and amphetamines. Describe the picture here of noradrenergic nerve terminal. In the picture here, you first see norepinephrine being packed into vesicles, then it's released into the synaptic cleft where it could bind to adrenal receptors such as alpha and beta receptors. Norepinephrine can also be reuptaken again into the presynaptic neuron, or norepinephrine can stimulate the alpha 2 receptors which will provide a negative feedback on its own release. So remember, the release of norepinephrine from sympathetic nerve ending is modulated by norepinephrine itself. And this is done by norepinephrine acting on presynaptic alpha-2 autoreceptors. What are the other two norepinephrine release modulating receptors? The other two norepinephrine release modulating receptors includes M2 receptors and angiotensin 2 receptors. How does M2 receptors modulate norepinephrine release? M2 receptor stimulation will prevent norepinephrine outflow from the presynaptic nerve endings. How does angiotensin 2 modulate norepinephrine release? Angiotensin 2 activation stimulates the release of norepinephrine into the synaptic cleft. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.